All right, so there's huge news coming out from the World Economic Forum, otherwise known as the WEF. About every two years, they release a Future of Jobs Outlook. And this is a report, several hundred pages long PDF. And inside of here are a lot of nuggets related to the impact of artificial intelligence on the workforce globally as well. So I wanted to share my screen. And so on the World Economic Forum website, they have downloads available for their past five issues of this report, the first of which is starting in 2016. And so as you see, these were released January first of 2016 followed by September of 2018 then October of 2020 May of 2023 and then January 8th of 2025 so this has just come out so a few things to note is that I noticed in the 2023 report which I looked at extensively over the past year or year and a half is that there was a commonly recurring theme of the word churn appearing inside of that report and so I'll pull up the 2023 report and I have these open in my browser here, and I did a word search for churn, and the word churn appears 467 times in the 2023 report. The most recent 2025 report, it appears 357 times. Now, going back to 2016, that word of churn only appeared once. And then the 2018 version, it appears twice. 2020 has no mention of job churn at all. And so then starting in 2023 is when we find that these reports contain the word churn hundreds of times. And in this particular edition of 2023, it was at 296 pages. And so with the mention of churn 467 times, it averages more than one mention of the word churn per page. And then this year's most recent report, 357 mentions of churn. 290 pages so once again over one reference of the word churn per page on average and so the reason behind that obviously is the advent of AI and so I wanted to mention as well that in addition to being able to look back on historically these different reports is that inside of these reports there's projections over the jobs created and the jobs displaced year over year and projecting that out into the next five years and one thing that I noticed back in the 2023 report I'll provide a link to these reports the landing page for all of the different reports from the World Economic Forum and you can download those but in the 2023 report and I have the word churn search for in my browser as well so it's highlighting that word wherever it appears you notice on section 3 of the 2023 report called jobs outlook that here's the projected job creation and displacement for 2023 to 2027. Now, this is always one of the things that they do in the World Economic Forum is they predict the job growth and displacement over the coming five years. So at the time of 2023, that was projecting out to 2027. I'll go ahead and zoom in on this so you can see this better. And each of these squares represent a million jobs. On the left side, there's purple for jobs lost. In the middle, the blue are the stable jobs, those that are not being displaced or replaced, and then jobs created in green over here. So back just in 2023, just a couple of years ago, or less than two years ago, actually, because this released mid-year of 2023, if I recall, but it was stating that in the next five years, 83 million jobs are projected to be lost and 69 million are projected to be created. And so this constitutes a structural labor market churn of 152 million jobs. And that is derived by adding those that are projected to be lost plus those that are projected to be created, meaning that there's a lot of churn. That's why that word starts coming up in the 2023 report is because there's a lot of jobs being displaced or no longer necessary thanks to the advent of artificial Official intelligence for a large part but that constitutes a reduction of employment in 14 million jobs or a contraction of two percent basically so some huge implications there and when AI was newer there was a lot of concern about what are we as humans going to do for jobs is this going to wipe out all employment so one thing that I really noticed that was a big difference in the 2025 report that just came out yesterday as I find that same section in the 2025 report the jobs outlook is in section two on this particular PDF and here is that familiar graphic once again with the squares representing 1 million jobs per square and this is the global marketplace if you will okay for this 2025 report it's saying that in the next five years or by 2030 
170 million jobs are projected to be created and 92 million jobs to be displaced, constituting a structural labor market churn of 22% of the 1.2 billion formal jobs in the data set being studied. This amounts to a net employment increase of 7% or 78 million jobs. So just as a reminder, in this year's report, it's projecting that in five years, 170 million jobs will be created, 92 million will be displaced. Whereas just two years ago, it was 83 million jobs were projected to be lost and just 69 million to be created. So we've gone from 69 million being created to 170 million jobs being created. So that is a net gain of an additional 101 million compared to just two years ago. And instead of back in 2023, it was a collective loss of 14 million jobs or 2% of the workforce to now being an increase of 7% or 78 million jobs gained. We've gone from going 14 million jobs in the hole to now suddenly being 78 million jobs in the positive. That is a swing effectively of 92 million additional jobs projected in less than two years. And so once again, revisiting the landing page here for these reports, we see that the Future of Jobs Report 2025 released January 8th. The Future of Jobs Report from 2023 was back in May of 2023. So we are just over a year and a half removed from that for there to be this huge swing in the upward direction as far as the projected number of jobs gained versus jobs lost. It is very true, though, that there will be a larger churn of jobs, and that's why we see that word churn appearing over and over, is going back to this graphic, that figure that is being accounted for as far as the percentage of churn being 22% is adding those 170 million jobs created and adding those 92 million being displaced, giving you a grand total of 262 million jobs affected, either created or displaced, whereas back in 2023, that number was much smaller because it was 83 million lost, 69 million gained, so a total effective churn rate of 152 million jobs. So there's a lot more churn than they were projecting a year and a half ago in the 2023 report. The good news, however, is that jobs lost versus jobs gained has made the swing in the right direction to where it is a net positive. So whenever you're facing the future and thinking about the effects of AI on your job, know that there is a decent chance that your job will be affected, but there's going to be more jobs available than there were before. That at least is what the World Economic Forum is projecting. I highly encourage you to check out these reports because there's a lot of great insights on the areas and industries that will be most greatly impacted either positively or negatively. And because of these types of key findings that we have seen and just the high propensity for the need to reskill also, and you'll notice in these reports that there's a lot of information around the key skills, those that are rising in importance and those that are becoming less important in the age of AI. That's one of the primary reasons why I started Rapid Reskill, because I saw a need for individuals to rapidly reskill their skill set in order to thrive in the age of AI. And so it's not all about just clinging to what has brought you to this point, but looking ahead into the future to help you make your own AI career pivot. And so that's what Rapid Reskill is all about. Check that out at rapidreskill.com, my learning platform, all about AI platforms such as Salesforce and kind of finding that intersection as to where AI and Salesforce intersect. And you also will find a lot of certification courses there. And so be sure and like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Be sure and share it with others. And now that we see that there's a net gain in the jobs being created, thank to AI, it's time to embrace the future and go full force into that future confidently and gaining the skills that you need in order to thrive into 2030 and beyond.